I'm Brian Waldzell, Senior Editor at Hard Energy. Methane management is a growing priority in the oil and gas industry, perhaps even more so than CO2. Methane management is one of the key efforts in achieving climate and ESG goals. We are here with Jack Bleers, uh, Director of EMP Technology Research at Darcy Partners. Uh, and Jack, what kinds of trends are you seeing um, right now in, uh, as the industry works to manage uh, its methane emissions? That's a good pre question there, Brian. And I think there's a few trends. Number one, first and foremost, is that operators are trying to go after what we're calling super emitters, which is to say that about 5% of the leaks are, are representing about 50 to 60% of total methane emissions. So operators are trying to find those low hanging fruit and trying to use detection technologies like satellites and piloted aircraft to help identify those big leaks and then take care of them. And I would say another trend that we're seeing is collaborative efforts between the industry and these technology providers to help identify where are the limits of these technologies, what are the limits of the detection threshold, what are the cost boundaries, and ultimately get to a place where we can have a good point to make to the EPA to find alternatives to our standard of OGIs, which uh, most operators will tell you are, are too infrequent and too costly to be a really good scalable solution for the industry. And staying on the trends of technology, what types of trends are you seeing in technology deployment right now? Yeah, another good question there, Brian. I think one thing we're seeing is that in the short term, again, folks are trying to find those low-hanging fruits. So these broad coverage technologies like satellites and planes are very good, but there's certainly another whole class of technologies in this continuing, continuous monitoring space that is definitely worth keeping an eye on. So we're talking about sensors that are either fixed around a given facility or it could be a single sensor that looks and does a 360 scan, scan continuously uh, to make sure that we're not missing in between captures. So in between a satellite image capture or a piloted image capture that we can really have eyes and ears on location 24 seven. Okay, uh, and how are investors evaluating ratings and report scores uh, that operators turn in? Yeah, that's an interesting question again. And I think one of the big trends that we see in the ESG space as a whole is that ESG for oil and gas operators, we often focus on the E, the environmental portion of that, because that's where we spend our days uh, trying to reduce those emissions as best we can. But from the investor's perspective, I think there needs to be a little bit more communication because they're relying a lot on holistic ESG ratings that are non-specific to the energy industry. They're really meant to be applied for all industries. And so uh, there could be a little bit more communication to outline what is it about these ratings that are most applicable for oil and gas operators uh, so that they can help score as best they can. Because right now, if you look at the data, like MIT would show that there's relatively poor correlation, I think about 0.65 for EMP operators uh, when it comes to those ESG ratings. So more operators are turning to what we call environmental certifications agencies who are much closer to their operations, understand their operations and can help quantify and justify their improvements that operators are making so that they can get credit for that good work. Sure, the industry is definitely finding its footing right now as they kind of works through this, uh, this issue. Uh, I want to thank Jack Blears, directing, uh, Director of EMP Technology Research with uh, Darcy Partners. Thank you, Jack. Thanks so much, Brian, for the time. Sure. For more hard energy videos, follow our social media channels.